Assalamu alaikum, myself Tara Salim, and today I am going to demonstrate you about the data retrieval from NIH, which is the National Center for Biotechnology Information. So there are multiple libraries for the sequence or database retrieval. And for the database retrieval here, as I have opened the website here of NIH, in the first stage of searching the it includes all the databases such as assembly bio collection depends on the uh, type of database which you want suppose if anyone wants a protein or a dna sequence such as a nucleotide sequence and then you are going to search here about the nucleotide sequence suppose i'm searching the human nucleotide sequence and here are multiple sequences. I'm sorry, but just a second. Okay, so here are multiple sequences of humans, as you can see here, that that chain D molecular basis of engineered and multiple so on. So there are about two like seventy two thousand and something databases of human DNA or RNA and as you can see here that there are there are multiple options here first of all these are the species and it includes it uh, the website consists of this number of sequences of animal species plant and forever whatever you want and also the molecular types which you also want so you can also shorten your search by um going in these section by going in this section and source databases also there are multiple databases sequences such as ddbj which is the dna data bank of japan and embl european molecular biology lab gen bank and other other and so on so it customize it automatically select the see the databases which includes the nucleotide sequences so you just you don't want to you don't want to go here you don't have to go here sorry and here are the sequence type and the genetic compartments also there as you can see here that this is the basically accession number which you can be which can be obtained from multiple sources and here as you can see that there is a number here which is written as 22089475 BP linear DNA. So they, that's basically the uh, number sequence length or the uh, number of base pairs. So you can just all, you can, if you want a sequence of a low base pair, so you can just go here and custom range of any sequence you want. So let's say I'm going from 15 base pairs to 100 base pairs, and then I'm applying it. So basically after applying it, the all the results which have appeared here consist of a sequences in between 15 to 100 base pairs, as you can see here, the 22, 24, and so on. Also, you can customize the release date or the revision date also, but that's, of no use. Okay, so here I'm selecting the first one. And after I, I'm, I have selected the uh, first sequences, it again shows the multiple its information. The first one is the, it is the PDP accession number. That is, you can just uh, search this PDP ID and then this sequence can appear. And here's the locus from which this sequence have been found. And this is the definition, source, organism reference and all the information which you which you could need also the nucleic acid journal and med id etc so and the next one is the FASTA format so basically if this FASTA format includes your sequence and the it is the format of the pdb that is the greater than sign and then and then pdb and here's your sequence but you copy the whole sequence into your notepad. Suppose I'm just copying it into here and then. So I can just save it. 
or there's other option also that is I can download it as well, such as by clicking it to send to and then file. And if I'm going, if I want the uh, Genbank full format that's also present and if I want only the sequence, which is the faster format, then I'm just going in the faster format and then I'm going to create file and here's the faster format have appeared. Also, um, there's another category, which is the graphics. I'm just going backwards and here's a graphic option option and after clicking the graphic options, it will appear like this. It usually takes some time because it is graphics. And here, as you can see that it is the whole sequences and you can just search what you want. So here's the first base pair and the second base pair, third base pair, and here's the 24th one. So it is also related and Suppose I'm I want a protein sequence and I'm just going it and protein and suppose I want protein isomerase. As I um usually it doesn't take time, and here's the isomerase sequences which have appeared, and I again I can See, customize the sequence length, suppose 15 to 100, 500, whatever you want. Also, there's another uh, additional uh, part in this section, which is the molecular weight, as you can see here. Since they are proteins and they consist of a delta and kilo delta weight, so you can also customize that in here as well. And uh, suppose I am just, I just want the sequence, which is the isomerase uh, glycine. Clarice Megger and after opening it, it again will show the whole information as it has shown in the nucleotide one and here's the whole sequences and also there is an additional part which is the identical proteins after clicking on the identical protein it will show the proteins which has have the same um, sequence or protein sequence. The next one is the faster format and the faster format will again show the whole uh, sequence of the uh, protein amino acids and by clicking on the graphics here will come the graphical representation of the protein sequences you can also download it from here download faster first uh, suppose visible range and here's the file which I've downloaded. So, and here as you can see that in the run blast is the blast which blast is the sequence tool. Also why I want these sequences that if anyone wants to compare these sequence for the research purpose by using blast, cluster W, Omega, or there are multiple sequencing compa sequence comparison tools. So you can just download your sequence or retrieve your sequence from NIH or PubMed or there are multiple other libraries as well and you can download it from there and then you can use it for your research purpose. That's all and thank you.